Most organizations will adopt a multi-cloud or hybrid cloud strategy for their computing needs in the future. You might be tempted to secure these environments with different tools, using the cloud security uh, provider security suite, for example, or some other specific tool for the particular environment. Let's explore why this might not be the best outcome for your organization. Hi, I'm Steve Murphy. I'm a vice president at ARG, and while I work for ARG, this video is my own and not necessarily a reflection of the views or opinions of my employer. This channel is dedicated to helping IT leaders make great business decisions. One of the key decisions necessary when executing a cloud strategy is how the cloud would be secured. There have been a number of trends that have developed over the last several years that need to be considered before answering this question. Some of these critical trends include work from home and their remote worker environment, more and more applications utilized by the organization, different types of edges across the network, multi-cloud hybrid compute stacks, hybrid workforce moving between remote and protected office space, real-time applications such as voice and video driving performance issues, a move to SaaS applications residing in their own cloud environment, point solutions and alert dashboards that have prol proliferated across your IT organization, and acquisitions only multiply these factors. And lastly, the threat landscape is becoming more and more active, some would say exploding. All of these factors contribute to increasing cyber risk. The attack surface has expanded and the compute environment has been decentralized. The network hub is now the end user. If you're in the cloud, you should be aware of the shared responsibility model. Here's just an example. And a summary of this graphic would essentially not be that the cloud service provider is responsible for the security of their cloud environment you are responsible for the particular workloads and data and security thereof. When operating in a multi-cloud or hybrid cloud environment, the biggest issue is lack of visibility, consistency and control needed to keep the applications and devices secure and connected for the user to, from the user to the data center and to the cloud. The average medium-sized business uses more than 10 security point solutions. For the average enterprise, that number is over 75. The proliferation of numerous point solutions to cover specific threat vectors is staggering, and multi-cloud or hybrid cloud strategies typically add to these counts. Where do customers get the expert security staff to manage all these solutions? In many cases, they don't. I've been at many clients who tell me that they have lots of solutions installed, but no one is managing them, or the people overseeing such security ops have minimal training in the solutions. The proliferation of work from home software as a service platforms, platform as a service and the internet of things and uh, vendors means that most of the data created is created outside of the secure perimeter. The network attack surface now has multitude of entry points. Here are some of the use cases you have to address in your multi or hybrid cloud strategy. Securely getting into the cloud environment. Security within the cloud itself security of flows between clouds and your data center, and the end users, of course. Web applications and APIs, application delivery and performance, SaaS applications and the utilization of SaaS platforms, cloud containers, compliance, cloud security posture management. There's a new one that's coming on uh, more and more uh, consistently now. Cloud providers have their own security tools, which can be very useful, but also add further complexity in a multi-cloud or hybrid cloud environment. I suggest that organizations consider adopting a standardized security strategy by adopting an appropriate third-party solution to address security at the data center, in the cloud, and across user devices. Third-party security platforms that work for your various use cases provide consistency and the ability for your team to develop proficiency. Some of the solutions you may uh, bring to bear include next generation firewalls, preferably cloud-based in my opinion, web application firewalling, Office 365 security, CASB, security automation, and container security. The firewall platform needs to have application awareness and control and be able to inspect and block individual applications and subcomponents or services. You might want to include SD-WAN in the capabilities of your firewall. With SD-WAN, you'll get quality of service enhancement and application management over the network. 
your multi-cloud hybrid cloud solution should be certified and fully functional in AWS, Azure, and Google for both infrastructure as a service and hopefully platform as a service, as your cloud strategy dictates. Now, you may not have plans to be in some or all of these clouds at the moment, but having capabilities across all cloud platforms allows you and the organization flexibility to move workloads to the optimal platform without having to acquire yet another solution. Maintaining a unified security posture across your environments will drive consistency, which of course increases security, as well as cost efficiencies and reducing staffing challenges. If you're looking for such a solution, feel free to reach out. My contact information is in the description of this video. If you got some value out of this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up, a like, and thank you very much for doing that. And lastly, if you want to find your way back to this channel in the future, the best way of doing that is by hitting that subscribe button. That will allow you to come back at any time at your convenience. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.